Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the farm. I am currently leaving the contracted field that we did in the last episode with our 56,000 liters of silage. But today is going to be a very very important day and also very very busy and I'm also not sure whether or not I'm going in the I'm going in the completely wrong direction here. Apparently I'm lost. All right, let me just turn around real quick. Sorry. Sorry. Getting there though. There we go. Much better. But yes, as I was saying, today is a very important and also going to be a very busy day, which is why we start so early. I do have it set to times 10. I'm going to reduce it to times 5 because today we're going to be harvesting our sunflowers, but not only that, also our beetroot. Be not beetroot, sugar beet, sorry. We are going to be harvesting that today. Both of those fields are ready to harvest, but the reason why we're going to be extremely busy is because uh, in a, in the next day they won't be ready to harvest. They're, they're gonna be withered. So yeah, that's why we have yeah that's why we are quite busy today. So we need to get back to the farm, get these or this trailer into a shed and just get started right off the bat as soon as possible. We also do have, as it says, a, a rain upcoming but as soon as we get to the farm we'll take a look at the map and things like that it is quite a heavy load for this tractor but it can just about manage it quite a narrow turn this but i think we made it uh oh come on please you can do this three kilometers per hour what come on <laughs> you got this little tractor four three oh man four i think we gotta make it though definitely can't say that I'm going past the speed limit here that would that no one even get close to mentioning that in the comments yeah, I do need to be careful with braking because of the load but it looks like our brakes are actually pretty decent all right here we are at the farm time to find a shed where we can put this silage into storage I think that's going to be too sharp of a turn, so I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom here to get into this gate. Question is, is it open? It is! Perfect! I probably shouldn't leave it open since we have chickens and whatnot, but it's fine. It's, they, they, they know their boundaries. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Alright, I'm not going to put it in here because that's the equipment. Uh, and apparently I decided to block this open shed with the harvester header I mean I suppose you know what I'm just gonna put them in there I think that's gonna be fine I'm not gonna use this trailer for anything else I don't think because we're just gonna be doing a bunch of harvesting uh, and we're not gonna be making any bales out of the sunflowers nor the the sugar beets so yeah I don't think I'm actually going to be needing this we can just put this in very nicely. And I think that is going to do it. I think that's going to do it. Detach that. Very, very good stuff. All right, let's detach the front loader. And then we will take a look at the map. Which I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and place here. I feel like this is a pretty good spot for it. Uh, along this... State. Hmm. Maybe I can't put it there. Ah. I suppose that would make sense. But I am very confused. Okay, it has to be apparently that far down. There we go. Finally. Right. Let us turn off the engine for a second so we can actually think and listen to the chickens uh, do chicken things. Yep, as they do. Right. So, here's the map. Here's our two fields. And yeah. Remove foliage. That's just because it's a sugar beet. So it's not because it's not harvestable. This field is harvestable. So we need to, yeah, like I said, do both of those today. Because if we go into the calendar, yeah. They, they need to be harvested right now. <laughs> if we wait one more day, we will move into December and then it'll be gone. So that would be a very much waste of produce. We do, however, need to check that the sheep are doing well. 
Uh, they do have food, so that is good. And the chickens also have plenty of food. I am considering, uh, I don't know why it says like 15, 14, 14. Like how many chickens do I actually have? Like what is the total amount of chickens that I have? That I am not sure about. Oh, we have eggs. Awesome. Uh, chicken. Okay, so we have actually 73, so they're producing. They're actually producing. Okay, that makes sense then. So if I were to buy more of these, I could actually fill up the chicken coop pretty quickly. Of course, these are going to be very, very young, uh, but they would grow up eventually. Otherwise, it would have to be these ones right here. And that's going to be a lot more expensive, but I might do something like that. But we will get back to that. The sheep are good. Uh, might buy more sheep as well. How many? Let's just find out how many sheep we actually have in total. Ooh, and the wool is coming along very, very nicely. I need to find the trigger for the sheep. Hey, sheep, how are you doing? That is. Uh, so we have 16 out of 100. Getting more sheep as well would be very, very nice. But again, we'll get back to the animal stuff soon enough. Right now, we have a harvest to do. So I think we're going to be doing the sunflowers first, which is going to be this field right here. And I'm doing that because I think it's going to be the easiest one to get to work with because all I need is a sunflower header. When it gets to the sugar beet, which is this right here, uh, we need a more complicated setup. If we go into the shop real quick, we can go to the packs here and we can find sugar beet. Yes, sugar beet in here and all the equipment that is required it's listed here. So harvester, uh, chopper, and then obviously the tractor. And this thing does require quite a bit of horsepower to run. But we could also go ahead and go into harvesters. No, we need to go into beat technology. And then we could lease one of these machines. However, that's a lot of money. That's 20 euros. And I don't know if we'll even make that back. Um, if we go into the menu here and go into uh, this and go to sugar beets, I don't know what the house rate is actually going to be. Uh, 266. Doesn't sound like a great price, but again, I don't know. Um, but maybe it, maybe it's the same as getting the full package. Let's see. So, uh, I think I would need to get the tractor to be completely honest. So that's 10,000 already getting the, the mulcher in front. I think this is a mulcher, some sort of mulcher, foliage remover. Uh, how much was that? Yeah, 1,200, 5,000. So that would be technically cheaper. That would be seven, uh, 17,000. If I don't get the tractor, that would be, well, 7,000 actually. So that's a working meter of three, we three meters and three meters. And if we go into B technology, uh, it doesn't say. That's interesting. Ah, three meters right there. So yeah, getting the tractor set up would be no matter what, a lot cheaper from my understanding. But this setup would be cool though. Like this running with this would be really, really awesome. But I don't want to because I don't want to waste money on it if we can, if we can save some. So I'm going to leave it at that. We are going to be needing to get a header. I also want to check the used machinery market real quick. Ah, ooh. Uh, seed scrap, like, so, yep, seed directly, that's a direct drill. But I think it won't beat the one that we already have. Forage wagon and tree logs and, yep, head, that's a header, don't need that. Right, I need to go to, uh, sunflower headers. Yeah, so that's a sunflower header right there. Ours cannot do sunflowers. So let's see if we can get one that is a decent size, but also doesn't cost so much. Why is there only one for sunflowers? Oh, that's weird. How, what's our header? 8.5 meter working width. And this one is 5.7. I mean, that works. I mean, these are corn. Oh, the corn headers also do sunflowers, right? Uh, this though. Would be interesting. It is 32. To lease it is 1600. But to get a proper one, let's get one that is even bigger. Something like eight, maybe if possible. Eight, nine work. I, I I like the nine meter working width. Let's see how much that is to lease. Four thousand though. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with this. 
We gotta lease it. It's been done. Not gonna pay double just to get not even double the amount of working with. Right, question is... Yeah, I probably need to... I won't be able to drive with it on the road, I don't think. So I'm gonna have to take the old head off. Also, this house needs a wash desperately. Alright. Oh. Get properly aligned. And question is, where do I put this down? You know what? Putting it down right here, I think, is going to be just fine. Yep. I like that. Oh yeah, and the weather, by the way, if we take a quick look in here, I almost forgot. Yeah, we're going to get rain at 9, but it should end pretty quickly, I hope. So hopefully it's not going to have an effect on our harvest. We won't be able to harvest if it rains. So if it was raining all day, that would be pretty bad. All right, and to the store we go. Oh, it has just started raining. Yep, it's raining. We can't harvest in the way in in the rain. <laughs> we can't harvest in the rain, so we'll have to wait for the rain to pass. All right, maybe I can just drive with this on the road. Let's see how wide this is. I mean, it's not ideal. I mean, that's not too wide. To be fair. It's also going to take us a little bit longer to do the field because it's not as wide, but it's fine. We should have time to do it all. Just need to back up to this thing correctly and pick it up. Because we don't really need it, I don't think. Turn on the hazards. Be careful of street lights. Yeah, it is kind of blocking up the other lane. <laughs> uh, hopefully I don't get any oncoming traffic, because uh, then we'll have a problem. Really, I should have added it to the trailer, but this is fine. Gotta do something adventurous every now and then. Alright, I've just set the time to 1.20, because, uh, well, we need to wait for the rain to pass. It is very stormy right now, actually. Wow. Yeah, that's quite some weather. Quite some weather. I hate skipping an hour. We could really use that hour for hour. That hour for how? Oh, oh boy. We could really use that for harvesting and things, but it's just the life of a farmer. And look at that! It just cleared up. Perfect. Ten past ten. It is now. Right, let's dump that there. Let's spin. Hmm, yes, let's spin back around up there. <laughs> oh, yeah, our greenhouse. How's that coming along? Oh, we have lettuce. Hold up. We have three pallets of lettuce. We might be out of water, actually. No, we still have actually quite a bit of, bit of water left. Huh. What is the price for lettuce at the moment? I mean, I assume it's gonna be in like the spring or something because apparently that's where all the produce that I make. Yep, February. Uh, we also have, if we take a look at the silage, February, January. Yep, canola. Oh, that's November. Oh, the canola is November. Right. So we have three big jobs today. Two harvests and one selling the canola that we have. Right. Oh boy, <laughs> this is gonna be a busy one. Alright, well, no time to waste. I'm going to. Does this not need to unfold? Hold on. That can't be right. Eh. Turn on, pipe out, enable straw swath. Nope, there's no unfold. Unless... Nope, no unfold. Okay, well then. Let's uh, get into position. And... Begin the harvest. Not sure how long this is going to take. But we are gonna find out. If this was real life, you wouldn't be able to just start harvesting. Is it doing it? Oh, it's doing it. Nice. But yeah, as I was saying, if it was real life, you wouldn't just be able to start harvesting. 
you would need to actually wait for the moisture to like disappear and whatnot. <laughs> Otherwise, it's gonna get in the sunflower seeds, and then it's gonna, while you store it, it's just gonna have a bunch of moisture in it, and it's not gonna be a good time whatsoever. Uh, but because this is a game, of course, uh, we can we can do so. And I don't th actually think that this is going to take that long. The field seems big. But it's only taken like what 20 seconds for me to do this bit. So really, we should have this job done in pretty much no time. This feels good though. Uh, back up. Please don't hit the tree, that would be bad. Yep, I'm getting used to the header like width in the corner there, so I know where exactly to drive. Mm, as I say, uh, but <laughs> I'll get it eventually. Uh, and we're already 25% full. I don't know like what the what the hold on what the harvest rate is. It doesn't tell me like how good the yield is. So that's interesting. I would have expected it to tell me that. But maybe it's because we haven't analyzed this field yet, or something like that. I'm not sure. But that's one go right there. Not bad. Right, well, I'm gonna keep doing this until the field is done. I will need to pull over the tractor as well to, of course, empty the harvest up. But then I will see you at the end of the sunflower harvest. I wonder, just really quickly though. Is it possible that we can mulch this? Uh, needs rolling, mulched. Okay, it doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure we can because there's all those uh, stubbles. So that would make sense. Anyway, initiate time lapse. Alright, harvest update. Harvester is now full. I gotta go ahead and grab the trailer so I can unload the harvester. So, we're almost done though. We're almost done with the field, so that has actually not taken as long as I thought it would. Ah, I can see the soil information right here, and as I thought, the yield is not ideal. It's like in the 80s, mainly in the 75 area. That would have been nice if it was at 100, of course, but uh, yeah. Well, this is the first harvest. We didn't actually seed this ourselves, so we didn't pay for it. We only bought the field with it in, so that is not too bad, all things considered. I wonder how much of a tractor upgrade I could get if I were to... Just, think, just thinking out loud here. If I were to sell this tractor and then buy another one. I don't think I would be able to buy one used. But getting an upgrade would be nice. <laughs> it is a very small tractor for this farm, not gonna lie. Well, a second tractor actually would be very nice as well. Ooh, look, the sunflowers. Well, sunflower seeds, <laughs> to be correct. Not bad. What are the one of the best prices actually? Let's see. Sunflowers. September. So basically in a year's time, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Typical. Right. Not bad. Twenty-one percent full on the trailer. I'll take it. All right. So let me finish up this harvest and then we can store the sunflowers and then take a look at the sugar beets because I am not sure. I think I'm going to get the, the harvester things for the tractor, but not the tractor, and then see if my little tractor can actually pull it. If it can, great. If it can't, I'll just have to get the tractor, because it will still be cheaper 
than getting the the entire the, like the big big harvester. Final stretch. Look at that. And that is the sunflowers fully harvested. Five thousand two hundred thirty oops. 32 liters or so, I think, in total. Let's find out. Yep, 5,132 liters. Not too bad. I'll float that. And I think just while I do have the tractor and the, uh, the trailer, I might as well... Hmm, that depends. I want to sell the canola because we're in a pretty good price. Yeah. This would be ideal. Don't know where to sell it though. Hopefully it's not the train. It is the train. But that is a pretty good price. 1400 But it is going up, so I'm not going to sell it right away. If I can get an even better price, just if it, even if it's 10 euros per thousand liters, I'll take it. Alright, returning the header. Just like that. The shop came and picked it up. Just going to put this away. Maybe give it a wash. Not maybe. Definitely giving it a wash. It really does need it. We're not going to use it for a while anyway, so it's nice that it's going to be in a shed nice and clean instead of nice and, well, not nice and dirty. Just dirty. Look at that. Good as new. You know what? I think I'm actually going to put it right here. I kind of like this placement. And I end up on a bale instead of inside the wall. Nice. Right. Sugar beet things. Um, so this requires 85 horsepower. This requires 185 horsepower. Our tractor is 120 horsepower. Uh, yeah, I might need to get the tractor. But it's also very tempting to get something like this. All right, so there's a couple of things I've realized. This thing does not have, like a, like this has a storage. This has a storage, this has storage. This does not have any built-in storage. However, this one right here does not have, like a harvester right there. I would need to get this thing on the side, which on its own is 2.7 thousand. That's not ideal either. Then I would need to get this, which is 24,000. And now we're in the area where getting the tractor set up would be probably more ideal. Um, so I'm gonna get this stuff right here. I don't know if I should try and put it onto my tractor and see if it can run it. My tractor has been through some stuff, so I'll try because if I can do that, then the equipment that I that I lease will only be 7,000 top. If I add the tractor, that's gonna be another 10,000. So I'll try with my tractor first. If that doesn't work, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll have to lease a bigger tractor. Or upgrade the engine. But I don't think upgrading the engine would be enough. Also, I would rather not upgrade the engine, save the money, and then get a bigger tractor overall if we get one in the used machine retail. Alright, we have arrived. Let's take a look at our equipment. So first, this is the top remover. Okay, yeah, running all this might be a problem for this small tractor. Let's find out, though. Let's attach this. Wow. Wow, wow. Well, I mean, I can drive with it at a pretty okay speed. Question is this when all the PTOs gets turned on. That's, that's a big question. All right, so I'm going to unfold the front. Maybe there's nothing to unfold. Okay, go back to the back. Uh, there we go. I, I think that's literally it. I think that's it, actually. Hold on. Uh, lower harvester, fold harvester. Yep, that's everything. That is actually everything. Oh, boy. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna lower both by holding down control, pressing V. And control B. Engine power available for the attached equipment. Oh, engine power, that's a that's something completely different. That is something completely different. It requires 63, 136. 
Right, 136. Mine does not have that. Yeah, so this tractor right here is 100 and does have 165 kilowatts. So this John Deere does actually have 140. That's only 5,000. That would be an option. This also has 105. This, uh, sorry, 140. This has 140 as well. That is in the expensive range now. This is the one they suggested. I'm gonna go with the John Deere, I think. I mean, these two are the same um, price, same horsepower. Pretty much save everything, except for the Veltra is a little bit faster, but I think. Uh, do we have a test front load of this vehicle is equipped with a... Uh, I'm gonna go with the John Deere, because I have driven the Veltra before. Right, we have spent money today. Well, I suppose this tractor is going to be doing more trailer work. But this is the John Deere. Sounds like a little bit more of an older thing. But as long as it can pull the thing it needs to pull, I'll be happy. All right, front part is attached. Attaching back part. All right, everything has been attached. Lowering everything. Turning on. Yes. It's all on. And running. We are halves. What am I hitting? Hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the front first, actually turn off the back. Take some of these off first. And then back it up. Switch to the back, lower. And then go there. There we go. Must be get I must have been getting stuck on something. Right! We are harvesting sugar beets. <laughs> For the very first time on our farm. Oh no, this tractor is not very powerful. Maybe I should have gotten the one that they recommended. Because this is a slow process. This is gonna be a very slow process. That's gonna be a very slow process. But oh well, no going back now. This is why we have what's called time lapses. It's gonna take ages for this field, by the way. It's gonna take absolutely ages. But it looks like the yield is good. Let's take a look at the yield. To maybe get our hopes up a little bit better. Yield. Oof. Yeah, that's like 75%. Well. I'll crack on, and I'll see you on the other side.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, finally progress. This has taken quite a bit, quite a while, I should say, but we are only missing, I'd say, two more passes. Maybe, just in order to get that final stretch right there. Would also help if I could actually drive straight. Uh, <laughs> in fact, it would help a lot, but we have actually gotten a lot of sugar beet harvested today. Oh, can I please? Ah, uh, okay. That sucks. <laughs> That's so unsatisfying. Anyway, yeah, we have actually gotten a lot of sugar beet. I think we actually got to profit a lot from this, which is, of course, amazing. Um, so yeah, that is very, very exciting right there. We'll have to wait a year or so until we can actually harvest it again, but we have something to look forward to. We have something to look very much forward to. And yes, let's just get this out of the way. This setup with the tractor and this stuff, not ideal. These two equipments, just fine. The tractor should have been more powerful. Um, but yeah, it was my first time doing Sugar Beats. If we do it again, and you know what, I actually really, really do want to do this again. I might even plant some, because it seems like... It seems like the yield is actually... If we could increase the yield of this field to like 100 to maybe 110% or something like that, or just 100%, the yield would be even more than what we have now. And I might actually be tempted to do it myself. And this, and that time, then go ahead and rent one of those really big machines. I think that would be really, really fun to do. But for a first time trying this out, not bad. And I'd say the result is pretty promising. Yes. Yes. I'm able to take this entire thing in one go, I think. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. This is the final stretch. And the sun is going down. We have one more task ahead of us today, which is to sell the canola. I haven't actually t checked the prices, but I will in just a moment. The black bar in the middle of the of the <laughs> of the window is not ideal, but here we are. Final bit. Boom. There we go. Press the wrong button. Let's put this out. Let's jump over to our other tractor. Yeah, 17,000 liters. Plus 2,000 more or so, so 20,000 liters in total maybe. You guys can try and do the math with how much we would actually get managed to, to get. But like... Yeah. This has actually been a really good harvest. Let's see the total. 18... Oh, we haven't hit max? We have hit the max loading capacity. That's right, I enabled that. Well, let's uh, empty the trailer, I suppose. Head into our silo. That might be a bit of a tight turn. But we made it. At least I hope I can put... Yep, there we go. Zoom out. Can I see it in person? I can indeed. Nice. Now to get the final bits. By the way, the next field that I buy, I would love it to be this field. Right here. In fact, I might... What's the price? What is the price? Look at that harvest. Uh, what's the price of this field? Yeah, 72,000. Can't buy it right now, but... In the future, that would be a field that I would be willing to buy, just because it's so... It's right next to us. It only makes sense for us to get it. Nope. Oh no. Don't hit the rented machinery. <laughs> Come on, get the final bits. Don't know how much it's going to be. Let's find out. Hmm, 60,000 liters, not bad. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and return this stuff immediately because I don't want it to count any more hours than necessary and there we go this field is harvested now we can relax a little because there's no rush 
<laughs> we need to prepare the fields, of course, for the next crop that we want to add. But for now, we can take a breather. Because we should be good at the final 1600. I think sometimes, by the way, when I say numbers, I say 1000 instead of 100. That's my bad. But there we go. Right. Let us take a look at prices for canola. It has increased to 1.5 right there. That's actually really good. Right. We are going to... Oh, that's the gear. Uh, start filling. That's 20,000 liters of canola. We will need to rent the train. I don't think I need the canola for anything else. In fact, I just realized that I won't be able to have all of it. Oh wait, yes I can. Sweet. That, that's perfect. Uh, right. I should have the place tagged. Yes. Oh, but it has tagged the wrong thing. It has tagged uh, this, the train exit right there. So I need to go to... Uh, easiest for me is probably to actually follow this path. Down to here. That's the railroad silo. That's where we can rent the train. And that's where we can... Uh, put the stuff in. So, I actually think I need to go, yeah, this way. Between field 8 and 6, go through the little village over there, dump it into the train silo, rent the train for a thousand euros. Come on, okay, I need to either upgrade this tractor, like, with the engine, or get a new tractor. <laughs> we might take a look at upgrading the engine in the next episode, because, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's slow. But yeah, rent the train. Ride the train, which is going to be nice. That's going to be our first time uh, actually riding the train, so that's fun. And then selling these 20,000 liters of canola. That's actually going to be quite a bit of money. We're doing pretty good on this farm, you know. I'm not going to complain. This is a nice grass field as well, field 11. That's actually a very nice grass field. I want that too. <laughs> I mean, maybe I can buy it? I mean, it's a very, it's a very, very nice field. I can't afford it. I can't actually afford it. Hmm. That is something to think about. Can I even be on this tiny road? I need to turn on my, my headsets here. And everything else. Uh, man, that's a tight road. Hmm. Quite tight quite tight. Uh, right, I think I need to go right here. Mm, no clear. Don't hit anything or anyone. I mean, it's evening. Looks like most people are home and not on the road. Oh, I should have gone the other way. I should have gone the other way. It's... Ah. No, I think I think this road will, will take me there. I think. Oh, hello. <laughs> Sorry. Heavy load coming through. I think if I just go just before the bridge and then left, I think I'll get there. That's a car park. Um, I don't even know if there's no sign indicating that I can't go this way. So, hey dear. Yep. Good. Ooh, we can see how much we weigh. Awesome. How much are we guessing? Let's see. Can't see. Is that kilos or tons? Not sure. 23,000. Let me know down in the comments what that is. What unit that is. <laughs> but either way, that sounds heavy. Right. Let's offload this. I'm in the wall. That's not ideal. I just wanted to get a shot of it. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. Well, I can... Well, actually, I need to turn on the tractor because apparently I'm too close to the wall. Now, I can turn off the tractor. And then I think I can rent the train over here. Do I just click R? Or maybe another button? Oh, return rented train. No, okay. 
So I'm waiting for the train to arrive. I'm not sure where it is at the moment. Should be able to see it on the map. Yeah, that's coming. It'll be arriving in just a moment. This is a very nice place, you know. This lake. Very nice. Those, by the way, collectibles on this map. So if we find any of those, that would be really exciting. I'm not gonna, like, hunt for them, but if I am someplace like this, I might take a look around. Just to see what's in the area. You know. I mean, we have some time before the train arrives. Oh, no, never mind. The train's here. <laughs> Alright, let's get on the train. Hello, train. Nice. Perfect. So we go in somewhere. There we go. And then we open the cover, I think. And I don't know which cover that is. Ah, there we go. And then we just start filling. We pick canola. That is, you can just see it in there, 22% full. Then we can close the cover. We start the engine. And we use the throttle. And there we go. 30 kilometers per hour. We can go even faster. At 60 kilometers an hour. I'd say that's pretty good speed, considering we do have a little bit of a journey to go on. Let's see what's faster. What's the fastest? 80. Nice. This is fun. I don't think I've ever used the train like properly, like this. The question is if I need to return the train after it has actually gone through the processing. I don't actually know that. We'll have to find out. But we're getting close to the finish line. I would love to have windmills on the farm, by the way. That's something that would be really cool to have. Lots of fields. Farmer's been spreading lime. Very nice. Well, that's a farmyard. That looks like stuff for horses, doesn't it? Maybe? Or other stuff. Yeah, maybe not. Or maybe it is. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what that place is, actually. But here we go. We're gonna get kicked out, I think, pretty soon. Yep. Do you want to uh, the train to sell the goods? Yes. Thirty-one thousand euros. I am glitched. <laughs> Plus, we got the environmental score reward. That's nice. So now we have sixty-seven thousand euros. I'm just gonna teleport over to my tractor over here real quick. Gotta make sure I don't need to actually return the train, because if it took one thousand euros per day, that would be pretty sad. Uh, rent rate. No. Oh, it was only 500 euros per hour. Easy. Easy. Right. Guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. It's been a big one. Uh, we managed to harvest two fields. That is awesome. So, guys, like I said, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and enable those notifications so you don't miss the next one. And I hope to see you, well, in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and until next time... Goodbye. Time for me to get home and go to bed, because it's been a long, long day. So